Hi guys, so today I have an unboxing. I've been so good, I haven't touched this all week. I've been waiting for this video. I've really, really wanted to open these. Three items, luxury. I ordered them before I filmed my luxury wishes video, so they weren't in there. One of them I've mentioned on my channel before, but the other two I haven't. And I'm really, really hoping they're as beautiful as I expect them to be. Let's see. Okay, so I'm not gonna start with this package just because I know what's in this one and I know that I'm going to love it and it's the most expensive one. So I'm gonna put this to the side and that can wait. And I'm going to start with this. So I've just put some duct tape or parcel tape over my address and it came in this big box um so i'm going to just cut open this seal sticker okay and it seems like it just wants to pop open oh oh okay so two pairs Okay, let me get rid of this box. Whew. So, these are from a site called Ukes, and it's part of the Netaporter group. So, they either bought Netaporter or they merged, I think a few years ago now. And it's basically a luxury kind of like discount site. I think I saved about 70% with both of these pairs of shoes. Um, I'm gonna start with the ones I know I'm gonna like, just because I don't want you to click off the video already. So as you can see, they come in a Todd's box. I've just taken off the lid. I've got one Todd's dust bag. Um, Todd's don't usually tend to give you two dust bags, um, which is unfortunate, especially with my, um, my other ones. Them being suede, I'd really like to have two dust bags, but hey ho. So, took off the dust bag opening Ooh. oh my god okay 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 i love buying stuff online it's like christmas or your birthday like i don't i don't really get presents that often that i get to unwrap only from like the people that live in this house so i am um, i do really like to like buy stuff online I also just realized that because this is an unboxing video, I can't even like edit awkward bits out. So you're just gonna see me completely fangirling over these shoes. Okay, I'm just whipping out, my room is gonna be such a tip after this. I'm just whipping out all the um, paper and I got these beautiful, beautiful Todd's. Um, they are pretty much the same as the ones I've already got that I showed in my luxury collection video. Ooh. Um, but they are red leather. So obviously in my luxury collection video, I was like, oh, I really shouldn't have got suede in a light color. So I purposely got a darker color and it's leather and it's quite a textured leather as well. So I don't think that's gonna scuff or anything. Um, it's got this contrast. So it's basically got like unfinished, like contrast leather bits, which is so nice. Oh, these are so nice. Oh my gosh. They smell so good. What's that? Okay, that's just a bit sticky. So I'm a size 38 in these. Um, well, I assume I'm going to be because my other ones are a size 38, so I just checked my other ones before I purchased these. Um, yeah, these are like perfect. Um, oh, that's so nice. Sorry guys, I'm just taking a moment to, take them in, take them in, take them in. I've been waiting all week. Okay. So I'm definitely, definitely gonna wear these 
on a regular basis because I don't have to worry about if it's raining or anything anymore because they are leather and I'm still gonna spray them, but oh my God, they're just so nice. They're gonna look, obviously I've got, so I was just out with my friends this morning for brunch and they were teasing me about how my wardrobe is basically just black, white and beige or tan. So um, obviously they're gonna go with everything because you know, red goes with beige, white, black and tan. But oh, I hope you like them. I love them. Oh, these are so nice. Oh, so these usually retail for I think I pay like 3.30, 3.30 for my other ones. And these I got for about a hundred pounds. Like that's crazy. hundred pounds guys. Yes. Love, 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 love. Oh, okay. So happy with those. Okay. So I then got these shoes from a label called Gia Couture. Now I don't know anyone that owns from this label and I personally have never owned anything from this label and I only discovered them like a month or so ago. But they've done a collection with Chiara Fragni um, and I'm not sure whether these are from the, that collection or I think they are, I'm pretty sure they are. I'm like 99% sure they are. But I just saw these. So they're kind of similar to the Gucci ones. You'll see when I open them what I mean, but I wasn't willing to spend like five, 600 pounds on the Gucci ones, especially as I'm not sure I'm gonna like them and how practical they're gonna be. So I got these, again, they were about 100, 120 pounds. And I okay, I'm really excited for these. I showed my mom a picture and she hates, hates them. So I'm aware that these are Marmite shoes and you might also hate them but let's see if I hate them they're obviously going back as well but I hope I'm gonna like them okay 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 I'm actually so nervous I've got like oh, okay I don't know why I'm nervous I'm never nervous to open something but I think it's because it's on camera as well oh okay hmm let's see I'm trying to decide whether I like these. Oh, okay. Um, the bow's not, the boat is coming out. Let me try and. Interesting. Okay, for some, for some, for, can I speak? So for some reason, this bow is like, you can move it. I might have to put like a stitch or something in there if I'm keeping it because I can just foresee that being an absolute nightmare. I don't know why it's not stitched. That's pretty stupid actually. But they are these. Hmm, I can't tell whether I like them. These might go back, they feel a bit. Okay, so that is a leather sole. But in the inside, they feel a bit cheap. That fur only goes back to like about here. Um, hmm, they feel a bit hard. Oh, I'm not sure I like these. Okay, and there's a little, don't know if you can see that. There's like a frayed bit right here. Oh, not sure about that. Hmm, and there's another bit here. In fact, there are quite a few frayed bits. Okay. That sucks. But I don't think I'm keeping these if it's got frayed bits on it, obviously. Um, I can't pull it, so maybe I could just snip it. But I need to decide whether I like them anyway, because I don't know. I'm trying to look at them on camera. They actually look quite cute on camera. So basically what I was thinking about these, so I've seen them on their Instagram page and these are actually meant to be steel gray, but they do look black in person, which I thought they would. Um, but I just thought these would be quite fun and different. And I, like I said in my last video, I feel like I need statement shoes. 
I'm just not sure if these are too statement. I feel like these are like too gimmicky. Like I might hate these in like a few months, a year. I need to try them on though. So I'm going to go try them on. I'm going to go try them on right now. Okay, guys. I absolutely hate these. <laughs> oh my God. They're so... No, they just don't look nice on me at all. That's a hell no. That's the first time in like forever that I've bought something that's so, so way off base. Like I... These look awful. <laughs> I should have listened to my mum. I know my best friend and my sister are going to be howling while they watch this. These are so... Like, I don't want to trash the label just because, like, I can't, like... I saw other people styling them and it looked cool. But definitely, definitely not on me. Like, no. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> I can't believe I got... Do you know what's... Do, do you know what's most embarrassing is the fact that I've got this so wrong on camera. <laughs> Can I just edit this bit out? No, in the intro I said there were three things, didn't I? Damn it. No, I hate these. I absolutely hate these. Well, this is going well for a first unboxing slash haul. Great. Okay. Those are definitely... And they're shedding. Oh my gosh, that's shedding on me already. Can you see that? Gross. Nope. 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 How many times can you say no? Ooh. Okay. So those need to go back. So I'm going to return these. Within 14 days of delivery and I waited all week. Great. Okay. Use the pre-printed, prepaid UPS label. And then UPS will be responsible for return shipping. UPS will pick it up. Okay, perfect. Well, then. Okay. That's annoying. Okay. Well, cheering myself up then. I know I'm going to love this. It's not in the print that I originally wanted. But I'm pretty, pretty sure about this one. Okay. Jeez, I can't believe how wrong I was with those. That's embarrassing. Okay. Stick to what you know. Is what I say with that? No, to be, yeah. That was just bad. It was just bad. Okay. Got half of it off. Come on. Right. So... Rips that bit off and okay, it rips up the side and then ta da! Louis Vuitton! Oh my gosh! Okay, let me stop singing like I am in an aria. Okay, so when you order from Louis Vuitton, it comes in like an unassuming box on the outside. This is not the first time I've ordered from them online, so. It comes in an unassuming box on the outside, just because, you know, you don't want someone to jack your parcel. Uh, but when you open up, it says Louis Vuitton on the inside. And then they always give you your envelope in separate kind of sleeve. So obviously it's in the newer orange packaging. And let's see if there's anything new in here or anything I can show you without showing you my personal details. So you've got, thank you for purchasing from Louis Vuitton. We use all our experience in craftsmanship to bring you this product. We hope it will entirely satisfy you. How cute. Is that going to focus? Yes. There we go. How cute is that? Okay. Um, and then, oh, actually I want to keep that. And then, okay, let me just make sure this doesn't have my name or anything on it. Name or address. Nope. Okay. So yeah, you get your, okay. You get your, um, invoice gift receipt, although it's not a gift. So they just attach that anyway. And then you get like an exchanges and refund thing 
And then this is, what is this? What is this? Oh, this is like if you bought it for someone. So it's just like this um, like flap thing and some spare paper. And then if you bought it for someone, you can write like a cute little note on it. Okay, so moving on to the box. So it always comes with this little envelope thingy. And again, if it was a gift for someone, you could just write something sweet in this little envelope. So, this is the best bit. Okay, are you ready? Oh. On the other side. Okay, wait. This is a knot, so I can't actually do this like. Okay, okay. It's coming, it's coming. But it's not. <laughs> okay, ribbon done. I always keep these, so I've got like a bag full of like Louis Vuitton and Chanel ribbons and stuff. Okay, so these are like little draw boxes. I, oh, I should stop gasping and making breathy noises. That's quite awkward. Ta -da! And then, so it comes in this dust bag. So I'll put the draw backs down. And then you open the dust bag like that. So this is the mini pochette that I was talking about. Oh, their zips are so nice, just the sound of it is so nice. So inside any new Louis Vuitton, you get this, mm, can you see, can you see? Yeah, you get this card and it says, French on one side, English on the other. It says coated fabric, cowhide leather trim. So that's talking about this coated canvas and it's, Nice and smushy. It's just a big red hole inside. So this is an SLG from Louis Vuitton. I've got it in the Damier Abine canvas, which is the original canvas. So it's quite funny because I don't think many people know that this is the original canvas. I, think I decided to get this and it comes with this beautiful gold chain, which can unhook from this one and you can hook it on here and I know people use it as like a wristlet super cute um but I mainly bought this to use as a cosmetic bag or to even obviously because of this loop to even loop onto like belts no, sorry jeans so I don't have any loops on these joggers because they're joggers but if you can imagine these were joggers, not joggers, jeez. If you can imagine these were jeans, um, the, imagine the belt loops and then that like through the belt loops, it kind of be like a little fanny pack type thing. Super cute, right? No, right, yes, no, right, yes, no. Or what you can do is you can buy detachable straps and then what you do is you unhook you unhook this one and you hook this one to part of the new so you unhook this one to part of the new strap and then you hook the straps hook to this one and then you've got like a long crossbody which on some people looks really, really small, but because I'm like tiny, five foot two, I think it is actually gonna be proportionate. So let's do a mini little what fits. Okay, so I've got my cosmetic pouch, which is what um, I bought this for because this doesn't fit into smaller bags that comfortably. This will. Um, so I'm gonna see how much from my cosmetic pouch, which isn't full at the moment to be fair, but how much from my cosmetic pouch I can fit in here. So let's see. Concealer, is it gonna fit? Yes, okay, fits very easily. So concealer, I'm just gonna show you as I put it in actually, it'll be easier. So concealer, NYX lip gloss, MAC lipstick, um, ooh, I don't know where this is gonna fit actually. 
hand sanitizer. Okay, it fits, it just bulges a tiny bit, but like not even, like almost imperceptibly. So hand sanitizer, like barely, barely bulging. Um, mascara, maybe I should put the hand sanitizer on top actually, so. I think this one, you're gonna have to organize it a bit more than you have to with the um, the cosmetic pouch. MAC Lip Pencil, um, Fenty Lip Gloss, what else is long? Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Eyebrow Pencil. Ooh, that doesn't fit. So that is just sticking out, so that does not fit. Um, Dior Lip Gloss. Fenty lipstick or paint, whatever it's called. Louis Vuitton perfume sample. Uh, Diptyque mm, mini, might even be a tester or a sample, sorry. Um, mini lotion. And if you put that in, you wouldn't be able to put in the, oh, actually, hold up. Okay, I still don't think I'm gonna fit that in, but actually that doesn't need to go in there. So that zips up. No, it doesn't zip up comfortably. Okay, wait one second. Let's rejig again. It's this thing that I put on top, that's a problem. Okay. Okay, I zipped it, okay. So, that, do you know what? It's still got room in it. Obviously it's brand new as well, so I just don't wanna, but look, I can do that. So that's obviously got room in it if I can squish it down like that. So yeah, you can fit pr quite a lot in that actually, I reckon. Um, but that's pretty much all I'd need to carry in like something like my Chanel anyway, in terms of cosmetics. And then this, I'd just put alongside it and let me actually show you how it fits inside the shoe. Okay, so, oh, I'm so happy now. Okay, so, deodorant, hand sanitizer, mini pochette, key holder, key pouch, and then I've still got room on top to put headphones, and I could put um, sunglasses as well. My sunglasses are nowhere near me. I don't actually know where they are, so I can't show you that, but that is. I don't know whether you can see it from that angle, but there is a lot of space on top. So, so this was 195. It went up in the recent um, price increase. So I'm kind of bummed I didn't get it at Christmas, but oh well. Um, so yeah, 195. Definitely a lot cheaper than this one. This one was 230 before the price increase. So I reckon it's what, like 250, 260 now probably. And then this one's 195, so. Yeah. So in terms of what I'm keeping and what I'm happy with for this haul, mini pochette and then my lovely, lovely new Todd's. Those other loafers are going back. I'm sorry, I even showed them to you. I'm all about honesty. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you. Do you know what? I've even seen people try and wear this as a, whoa, let me get my Chanel bag off the floor. Um, I've even seen people wear this as a try, well, try and wear it as a little bag. So let's see whether that looks absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it's not absolutely ridiculous, but bearing in mind I'm tiny, that is kind of ridiculous. Like, is it you actually gonna wear that? I just had a thought. Maybe I should try and show you what I would actually put in it if I was using it as a wrestler. Okay. Um. Okay, so if I'm using it as a wrist that I'm not gonna need this or the stuff in it. So what I would need is my keys as always. I know for a fact my phone's not gonna fit in here at all. Like not even close. So I could just put some extra. So I put a lip gloss and a mascara. Lip gloss and a mascara and a perfume. That's what I'll do, yeah. Lip gloss, mascara, perfume. Bada bing, bada boom. Not even full. Oh my gosh, it's my friend's birthday in a couple of weeks. I'm so just gonna wear this. Super easy. And like, you're not gonna worry about taking this into a club either because it's canvas and I purposely got 
the Damier Bean because it comes with the treated leather rather than Vachetta. So that's not gonna stain or anything. So this is virtually gonna be indestructible. And yeah, I'm totally taking this with me to her birthday party. It'd be perfect for a club. Um, just need to work out what I'm gonna do with my phone. Although I might just take my iPhone 6 then instead of my 8 Plus. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, and check in on Wednesday for the next video. Vintage haul on my channel. And so for anyone who's not into this luxury stuff or, um, you know, is not at a place in their life where they're willing to blow money on that, Vintage haul coming just for you, just for you. 45 pounds is all I spent on seven items. I will see you on Wednesday. Thanks guys. Oh,